Oh, welcome back. Let's, uh... Let's try this one out. That was able to, so I need to defeat him quickly. But am I in the forest? Is this a horror game now? Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. The only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. We're settling this right here and now! Damn it, I need you to die faster. You're dying here now. You're dying here now. How about this? I had to, I had to go fast on that one. New stuff. Even more outfits. I don't think he's got the will to fight anymore. <laughs> Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine. Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again. Go on. You're going to be okay. <laughs> You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen. Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act! Say your prayers. What is he? The hell? Special Beam Cannon! <laughs> oh! So close. Oh, brutal. Bastard! Where's the hole? He's just lazy. Beaten by a filthy maggot! You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. <laughs> well, truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. The... the Dragon Balls? Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish, even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh, wait! The other two Saiyans! When are they gonna get here? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll 
Soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> In a year, a pair of sands will come. After hearing Radis' words, Goku immediately invites Piccolo to help help him train. In addition, at Piccolo's suggestion, they convince Chi Chi to let Gohan take part. Goku is sure the training has made him stronger. In the meantime, the two Saiyans are approaching Earth. Gohan, let's you and I do a little sparring. What do you say? Really? With you, Dad? Of course! You've already gotten way stronger than me when I was your age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure. But he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. Aw, oh, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? <sighs> Come on, Gohan. Buck up! Right. Thank you very much for the opportunity. That was a throw. earlier than expected. Dad. I'll go get some sensu beans from Corn Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. Goku hurries to Corrin Tower, and he immediately returns to join his companions after receiving sensu beans. That's some massive energy I'm sensing! It started already, hasn't it? Who senses that something significant is going to happen in this battle? Ah! Uh, Yamcha! Oh, did Yamcha die again? Dad! Nope! Saved by Goku, Yamcha lives! You're a lifesaver, Goku! Goku? Of course, you must be Kakarot. You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Goku, let me back you up! Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah!
After they successfully defeated the Seven Man, Nappa is the next opponent to appear before Goku and friends. Tien steps forward to fight Nappa, but both he and Chao Tzu are immediately overwhelmed. Goku joins the fight and manages to save Tien. Chao Tzu! Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. Out of my way! What if Goku didn't have yeah. Kerokin? Damn it! Leave my dad alone! A Seiko! Ah, I can barely move my body! You puny ants! I need a sense of being. Needs a sense of being. He. He had it in his pocket and makes a full recovery. He then notices the changes to his body. Oh, wow! I feel even stronger than I did before! He turns to face Gohan. Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! Thanks to the sense of being Goku recovers, but during that time Piccolo dies defending Gohan. Goku orders Gohan to leave the field of battle. Gohan! Take Piccolo and leave! Get as far away from here as you can! I can't afford to lose you! Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha! Make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh, a way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! <laughs> you can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile. Guys, don't do anything crazy. Right. Damn it. If only Yamcha were here too. Huh? Hey, where did Shotsu go? Just because you can get back up again doesn't mean you should. Get out of here. I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast, but as I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, these Saiyans grow more powerful every time they return from the brink of the dead. But he have somehow known that about his heritage. Here goes! Come here, 
settling this right here and now! Too bad. He never is dead weight, but she kills him without a second thought. Uh, he's a psycho. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. We have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Forgive me, guys. But I want to face off against him one on one. Goku, I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but. Yo, let's finish this someplace else. Fine by me makes no difference. Tien and Krillin watches Goku and Vegeta take to the sky. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta each assume their fighting stances. Now, allow me to show you a wall that no amount of hard work will help you climb! Now the battle between Vegeta and Goku begins. As my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams! Transformation? You get his health back. Now you're dead! First open and mix! staring Goku loses consciousness from Vegeta's attack it seems like a desperate situation but just then an ally appears at Goku's side from out of nowhere oh, thank you Chaozu good thing you had those sensor beans on you Goku receives a sensor beam from Chaozu and recovers but Goku sees his friend's defeat at the hands of Vegeta. 
Krillin! Uh. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot! Damn! I'm all out of sensu beans! Well, then it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? Oh, man. Shut your mouth! Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. With Piccolo dead, the Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never, ever forgive you for this! <laughs> oh, man. change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore out class. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, now you've suddenly grown the spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. You're about to die. No, that would be impossible. There's no way. Those are just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself could ascend to those heights. Not some fool like Kakarot. I'm the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race. It doesn't... Woohoohoo! You don't even get to talk. How can I be outclassed by some pathetic reject? So was this an alternate ending from the alternate ending? I killed them too fast. How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable! I never want to see you on this planet again! And I shall never forget this humiliation! My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do! Shortly after Goku faints, when he awakens, Gohan is there. As he... Grieves over losing precious friends of the Dragon Balls, he remembers Krillin's mention of Planet Namek. It is in that Gohan recalls the conversation between Vegeta and Nappa. They had spoken of the possibility of Dragon Balls on Planet Namek. Well, with help from Bulma and Mr. Popo, they get their hands on a spaceship. But Goku, sensing that something will happen, makes up his mind to go alone. While Bulma arranges a spaceship for Goku to use on his own, Goku focuses on training. It is in that Gohan appro approaches him. Dad! I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls, so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Goku arrives alone on planet Namek. Before him lies a terrible scene, the making bodies strew the ground. Goku's dark permission has become reality. Wait! Please don't run away! Let go. Eek! Eek. Where's he at? It's okay. I'm not gonna eat you or anything. Huh? Hey! Buzz. Who, who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar. They're way huger than the ones on Earth. If you're after these, then you must be with him. Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! This will end it! Will it? Take this! This will end it! 
Vale. Two. Three. Can't transform. Hmm. Oh my Regina! god! Nico now stands before someone resembling himself. Vegeta has awakened to his own Super Saiyan powers. Vegeta too is searching for the Dragon Balls. Now he stands in Goku's way. With Frieza out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot. Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! Sparks with their battle are about to fly once again. What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan! And he still has his tail. <laughs> oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed, for killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan and killed Frieza with my own two hands. We're settling this right here and now! So I thank you, Kakarot. Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. I believe he's broken, guys. Um. Alright, cool. To truly be a Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, 
You had better finish me off this time. Oh, I'm not killing you. <laughs> and no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot, you're a true Saiyan after all. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all! And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. Vegeta GT! Ow! That's a good one. Nice.